up, man? This is Chris the Nightmare Ariel, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today mm -hmm. on YouTube. Okay. And then, you know, who are some of the fighters that you've been trying to get fights with or you're like a phone call away or maybe, you know, like some of the uh, name fighters out there? Who, who are some of the name guys that you guys have been trying to get fights with? Well, uh, this is me personally. I'm, I'm trying to get a fight with, uh, if I can get Charles Martin on the line, uh, uh, Dominique Brazil, guys like that. Uh, Izu, the dude he just fought. Izu Bono. Those guys, that was three. Yeah, those are three main guys right now. Um, I wouldn't mind fighting Big Baby. Uh, Jamal, what's his name? Jamal Miller. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um. How about Trey Lippy Morrison? Those are some of the guys right now. I know I, I want to fight. How uh, How about Trey Lippy Morrison from Oklahoma? Trey, we actually got a phone call from Trey, uh, from his folks, uh, not too long ago. Uh, but my people, them, they, they, they was, they, we didn't take the fight. Uh, and he, he was like, man, they'll call back. They're going to call back. So they did call back for whatever, for the whatever reason. We still didn't take it. Um, but he said, we just want to be ready for when, when the, we want to, we want to fight at the right moment. We don't want it to be no one sided fight or whatever, but however that goes. Um, From what you remember, but, uh, we was we read it, and, but I think he's hurt now. He he was injured. Yeah, he um, cut his. Uh, he, we didn't get the. He uh, he suffered a nasty cut on on his eye, and I think he had a hand injury. But from what you remember, yeah, I was saying I think he broke his hand or arm, and then he did get a cut in yeah. uh, spawn or something in training. I'm trying to I'm trying to guess here if they were trying to get you. The fight that they were offering you with Morrison was it going to be a televised fight? Right, it, it should have been. It was going to be on Showbox, the next generation. Okay, so the fight they wanted you for was the fight they fought uh, another undefeated prospect named Ed Lattimore. That's the fight he won. I think he won by like first round no, KO. No, it no, it was after that fight. After okay, okay. Oh yeah, but then yeah, that, it was after. Okay. Uh, he had already yeah because I had I had actually checked that fight out. Uh-huh, uh, yeah, it was after that, it was a few months after that fight. Okay, so then he got injured anyway. Like earlier, earlier this year, they wanted me to fight, uh, Lippin, uh, Lip Morrison. Okay. Well, I'm actually, uh, man, I'm actually looking forward to it, though, man. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm setting five on my promotion company right now, man, that we need to get, we need to, uh, to get fights like that, them the fights we need right now, them the fights we need right now, uh, promotional fights for the world can get to know me. And, and, and see me put work in, um, cause that's them that spoils your fight. And, and me personally, as a fan, man, just watching, I think those type of fights will bring more exposure to the American heavyweights besides just Deontay Wilder when we're getting undefeated right. prospects coming up going head to head. You know, I think th that right there will bring right. attention. See, uh, that's a valid point, man. Um, over over the seas, man, they pushing the heavyweights, man. They pushing them. Over here, we it's just like we got one heavyweight that, that we ride the coattail on. We all behind this one heavyweight, uh, Deontay Wilder. And over there, they pushing everybody. The the, 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 the Furies, both of them, the, uh, Dylan White, um, uh, Izu. They just got them going. 